Part 1, Story 1, Back to the Beginning. Have you ever wondered how everything in the world began? I suppose so. Most boys and girls do some time or other. Those beautiful flowers in your garden, for instance, sweet. Bees, snapdragons, asters, hollyhocks, pansies, where did they come from? Seeds, you say. True, but whence came the seeds? From our flowers, of course. And those flowers from still other seeds, and so on, back to, back to, well, back to where? There's your dog. Where did he come from? We got him as a puppy, you say, and he has a very fine head agree. So that, so, that means you know his father's name and maybe his grandfather's. But, but how about before that? One thing you can be very sure of, your dog's grandfather was once a puppy too, and he had a father and a grandfather. And so on back to, back to well, back to when. Then there's that rooster in your neighbor's yard that's crowing all the time. Where did he come from? An egg, you say? Right? But a hen laid that egg, didn't she? To be sure, she did. And she came from an egg herself, not so long ago. And that egg was laid by another hen, and so on back to, well, but back to what? Then where's yourself? Where did you come from? Oh, you say a mother brought me home from the hospital. <sighs> I suppose she did. But mother was a little baby once herself. Wasn't she? And so was her mother and her grandmother and her great-grandmother. And so on back to, back to, well, back to Rome. Think of a mom too, and the wooded hills, the flower, the flowing river, and the sand on the seashore, all the wonderful things of nature, were they always here, just as you see them now, or did they do have a beginning, and if so, when and how? Many great men have prior, tried to explain these things, and they have come up with all sorts of strange ideas and sub, suggest, suggestions, most of them far from the truth. There is only one place where you will find the true story, and that is in the Bible. If you will open this wonderful book, book, you will find that the very part, first part is called Gen, Genesis, meaning the book of beginnings. Here you will find the answer to all your questions. And that reminds me of little girl I know. Once I asked, her rich chapter of the Bible she liked best. I thought she would say the twenty third, the twenty third petal in the one that begins. The Lord is my shepherd, but no, she said the the first chapter of Matthew, I suppose you like it because it tells about how Jesus was born. I said, oh no, she said, I like it best because it's all about the baguettes. The what? I asked the baguettes. She said, so I opened my Bible and turned to Matthew 1, and there it was. Abraham beget a sack. And a sack begat Jacob. And Jacob begat 
do does. And so on. I asked her if she knew what it meant. And she said, no. But I do like the baguettes. So I told her it meant that Abraham had a little boy. And Isaac had a little boy. Had a little boy, and Jacob had a little boy, and so on. But I think she still liked the baguettes best. Then I told that. Then I told her that. Put the that put the other way around. It would we and Jacob had a daddy, and Asak had a daddy, and Abraham had a daddy. And so on. <clears throat> She liked that better, but wondered how far back the story goes. I told her what Luke says about it in this third chapter, verse thirty-four. Luke picks up the story at Abraham and carries it back further and further and further. He tells us that Abraham was the son of Pharaoh, which was the son of Nacher, which was the son of Sarah, and so on. Such strange names, but they were names of real boys in the long, long ago. Then, having told us the names of Abraham's great Grandpa and great great grandpa, and so on. Luke says that、uh, that Unos was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam. Which how very very funny. Which was the son of God. There the story ends and. It ends there because it cannot go any further. It goes clear back to God and stops, and that's where you go back to. And Daddy and Mama, and everybody's Daddy and Mama, everybody's Grandpa and Grandma, everybody's Great Grandpa and Great Grandma, they all go back cro- across the years, across the centuries to God, not to a monkey, not. To To a tiny tadpole in the sea, but to the great and glorious God, who made the world and man, and that excitedly what we read in the first words of the first chapter of the Bible. I'm begin. I'm the beginning. Ah,、uh, Bible. In the beginning, God.